There are several ways you can use our Moodle 3.5 system to keep in touch with your students, send out communications, and so forth. In this video, I'm going to cover the two main ones, and these are using the course announcements forum that is put into every Moodle course that's set up, and using the Moodle messaging system. Uh, before we get started with that, though, I'm going to first recommend that you <clears throat> add a couple of specific blocks to your Moodle course. So. I'm going to turn editing on, and you'll see the add a block block. Um, you should add the course announcements block. This block ties to the course announcement forum and gives you an easy way to add new announcements to your course. And uh, also keeps track of the announcements that have been sent out. I'm going to uh, drag the blocks around so that course announcements is up at the top left hand corner of the course so that students see it when they come into the course. Another useful block to add is the people block. And the people block will give you access to your course uh, participants list as we'll see in a minute and that can um, give you some options for messaging individual students. So in terms of using course announcements, uh, you can go into the discussion forum. It's a discussion forum pretty much like any other discussion forum in Moodle, but it's very specialized. The course announcements forum, uh, when you as an instructor post something to the forum, um, the posts are archived there as they would be for any other discussion forum, but they're also automatically emailed out to everyone in the class. So these, this gives you the best of both worlds. Your announcements can be emailed out to students' email, but also if they lose or delete those emails, they can always come into the course announcements forum and see the list of past announcements. So if you click um, add a new topic in the course announcements block, you know, I can say welcome to the class. Type in whatever message I want to send out. You can even send out uh, file attachments if you want to uh, email out a file. Personally, I'd probably put the file up in Moodle and then email out an, an, a notice that the file was there. You can also, uh, as with any other discussion forum post, pin the post so that it stays at the top of the list. And uh, one feature that many faculty don't realize is that you can actually schedule when announcements are going to go out. So if you've got an announcement you want to go out at the end of the week, you can put it together whenever you've got time. Schedule the display start. And uh, the time. You know, maybe I want this to go out at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then by posting this message to the forum, you basically add it to the course announcements forum and it will either uh, go out immediately if you send, um, if you select this option, it will go out after five minute grace period if you don't, or you can schedule it for some other time. Once that is posted to the forum, you can always, you or your students can go into the, you'll see that it shows up here as the most recent course announcement. It's also archived here in the course announcement um, forum for everyone to look at throughout the rest of the semester. So that's the course announcements function. This is good for broadcasting an email or message to the whole class. If um, there are specific students that you want to uh, send a message to and you've added the participants, uh, the people block, you can click on your list of participants. And as instructor, you will see all of your students listed here. You can select one or more students. And with those select users, you can send a message. And the messaging system will tell you you're sending a message to one person. 
and you would just click send the message and if the uh, student is not actually actively logged into Moodle at the time um, after a few minutes grace period Moodle will email the message out to the person's email account if the person actually is in Moodle, the messaging system will pop up a window and you can actually message back and forth in pretty much real time if the two people who are, who are messaging are, are both on Moodle. Um, the nice thing about the, this newest version of Moodle is that from the participants list you could actually uh, select three of the students that you need to send a message out to and click send a message and now you're sending a message to three of those three people. This gives you more selectivity than um, you know the, broad, the course announcements which is a broadcast email to everyone in the class. Okay. There's some other tips and tricks about uh, using tools in Moodle to keep in touch with your students but these are the two main things. If you want to broadcast an email out to everyone I would suggest you use the course announcements function in Moodle because not only goes out to email, but it also is archived in your Moodle course. If there are specific students you need to uh, send a message to, go into your participants list, select the students, and send them a message.